What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Bandai Super Imaginative Chogo Kin. Kamen Rider Wizard Flame Style. That's right, my Zillion's doing a Kamen Rider today. Why? Because it's Kamen Rider's 50th anniversary. How about that? Congratulations to the Toei franchise um, and much respect to Kamen Rider in general. I had this in my backlog for the longest time, um, just sitting, never even opened. So when I found out that today was Kamen Rider, and I didn't know till pretty late in the day, um, I was like, do I think I have something in my backlog from Kamen Rider? Uh, and it is this gorgeous, gorgeous Kamen Rider SIC. Um, and I'm really glad about it because A, I love checking out new figures, even though this is a very old figure. I had actually got this at a Midtown Comics warehouse closing sale uh, for like 10 bucks. Uh, if you know, uh, super imaginative Chogokins do not go for 10 bucks. Um, so that was a massive steal at the time, but I never opened this. I also had another version of this, like the dragon style one, but I have no idea what that figure is. You can set, search back on my Instagram account for pics of that when I first opened that one. Um, but then I had put it away somewhere and I honestly don't know where it is. So that's a bit unfortunate. It won't be in this review as a comparison because I gotta get this review going. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Let's start things off with a quick box art nerd. I think I might have put the insert back in wrong, but that's neither here nor there. It's very nice. Nice um, ornate design all around. Kamen Rider Wizard all around. Flame style. Uh, you see that in here as well. Really nice Kamen Rider Wizard flame style up there. Nice opening there. Same thing on the other side. Some picks here. Really nice layout. I do have to say I like the design of this. Nothing going on on the bottom. Originally, Midtown Comics had this for $58.99. Definitely did not get this for $58.99. Bluefin, hey. So, uh, I don't know how old this figure is at this point. I really don't. Um, quite a while, because it was quite old, I think, when I first got it. But there's a box, still in okay shape for what it is. Both clearance and old now. But just open. Oh, Bandai 2014. So, there you go. Articulation on wizard head is on a ball joint and then there is a neck joint. You can see this piece in between is just like a floating piece, but that's pretty cool. And then uh, you have the upper body joint in there and then a separate waist joint. Feels really, really loosey-goosey in the joint there, but when you pose it, it's not so loose, but it feels like you could See, it's very loose. Um, hinge joints here for these shoulder pads. And then hinge in here, it's a butterfly joint from what I could see, so, yeah it is. It is a butterfly joint, which is nice, and can go up and around, which is good. Swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, looks like. The, the upper part of the joint is severely up into the bicep, so that's a little bit weird. Um, the wrists are on ball joints, but I believe there's a hinge in there as well. We're going to look at the coat in a second. Legs go out this much. Do they have a drop down joint? Not that I can tell. A little bit of rotation in there. Kicks forward, kicks back. Nothing at the thigh, but again, you can rotate this. Um, and then you got a double jointed knee, which is nice and deep and it works well. And then uh, at the legs here, you have, uh, you do have some rock in action. So I think it's on a ball joint. And then you have a hinge joint. So all that works really good. And then on the back here, as you can see, this thing moves all over the place. So you have ball joints up here with a hinge. So you can turn it around and then um, hinge joints here. So there you go with that. It's pretty cool i have to say in the articulation department so one cool thing i'm realizing here uh is that these shin guards here are die cast so a little bit of die cast content um maybe <laughs> all of these super imaginative ones uh, might have maybe a drop of die cast i don't feel metal anywhere else 
but right here, not up here, right here in the shin guard, this is, without a doubt, die-cast metal. That's pretty awesome. So taking a look at this guy proportionally, um, it's pretty interesting. It's very, very tall and long. Well, the figure is big. If you don't know this line, they are tall figures, uh, about that seven and a half inch, maybe even eight inch scale. So um, they are pretty tall and that's cool. This part moves a little bit up in here. <laughs> anyway, um, proportionally, again, he feels really tall. Like his legs look really, really long, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all in those terms. I don't mind it. And taking a look at this guy further in full, the head sculpt is really nice. You have that translucent red plastic there, uh, which looks awesome. I really, really like that. And then you have uh, the silver all around, which looks great. Nice armored headpiece, black in the back, really nicely sculpted uh, with the uh, grasshopper-like antennae there the jewel in the middle so that's really good and hey if i'm saying anything wrong i just you know just know as much as i love um designs of common rider i'm not the biggest like fan of common rider not that i'm not here's the thing i haven't watched a lot of common rider in my life i've watched a bit uh but i can't ever call myself like a really big fan it's as far as toku goes it's it's lower on my list um, but cause I'm more of a giant monster, giant Toku fan. Um, but I do respect a lot of Comrade right? and I have quite a few pieces, but just not like as many pieces as a like hardcore fan would have. But moving along, <laughs> uh, the chest piece is just as incredible as I had, maybe even more. I love the translucent plastic. It does look like gems. It's so, so nice really hide out lighted well with this ornate silver all around i love how that looks very very nice the collar looks good even the neck is sculpted well check that out with all the segments in there that is super cool the shoulder pads look really nice there's that dragon on there which i believe is a dragon which looks cool um really nice shoulder pads all around i really like it and then the armor, not the, well, that's armor, but the uh, arms I meant look really cool. There's some nice straps over here. Nice sculpt work going down here. You get more of, I think it's still that translucent plastic. It could be paint, but I don't think it is. Um, it just looks really good. Fists here look really nice with the rings. I do like them a lot. And that's in translucent plastic. That looks fantastic. Even going down the body here, and this is like soft plastic here, um, which is interesting, but it's cool because you can lift this up and you can see how the stomach part is done, and that's done really well. Uh, turning around here, I love all the sculpt work here, and all of this on the back looks really nice. Again, a lot of nice silver going on here. Um, then we go down to the bottom part here of the, this coat skirt thing. Uh, you got the back, well, first off, the belt here looks really nice in silver, some black highlights. On the front, you have uh, this hand thing. Again, this is, I bought this figure. Definitely Wizards one that I don't know that well, but I have this figure because it looked incredible, and obviously I do know what Kamen Rider is, and... Um, so that's why I bought it and it was 10 bucks. <laughs> um, but this looks great. So I don't know how his rider belt quite works, but it looks great. And that's where I'll end that. Um, and then this whole piece looks awesome with the silver going down. Beautiful. These chains here with all these jewels, uh, look great. They're just glued on, but it, it looks great. I like this piece over here. And then again, you got some nice ornate stuff going on in uh, nice design like weaved in weave uh sculpted into this whole hip skirt and look at it in the inside here printed on that's really really cool and then when you put that together you can see that goes together and you got more over there so really really nice jacket skirt type of deal uh you know 
hip skirt, really long. It just looks cool. Waistcoat, you know, whatever it is, it's just awesome. Um, and then the legs have this nice armor up here, really glossy um, knee pads here, really cool looking. And then again, die cast at the legs. I did not expect that, and that is awesome. But again, I, maybe I should have expected that. <laughs> if I ever find my other <laughs> SIC uh, comment right, I gotta check it out. Um, and then in here, you get that translucent plastic, red plastic again, and the silver around there, which looks gorgeous. And the boot, bottom of the boots look really gorgeous as well. Really, really nice. So, oh, even the very, very bottoms. Look at that. Sculpted in facts plain but it's fine so all in all man this figure looks gorgeous i'm so glad i got it out time to uh arrange a common rider slash garo shelf i think i i think that is in order for accessories first up we get the stand i'm not gonna even pop it out i don't know if i need it um if i do i'll let you know but that's the stand and uh you would pop out one side you won't you would pop out this thing here and you could plug common rider wears it into that we get a bunch of hands here you have open hands you have holding hands you have uh this kind of hand with two fingers outstretched um which are all really nice again they all have that nice jewel ring uh which looks really good on all of them we get these two gorgeous, gorgeous, I don't know what to call them, uh, like just really old school looking, beautiful, like this one's like a bayonet type of uh, sword gun, and this is a shorter one. Let's look at the shorter one first. It looks fantastic, really nice gun metal, again, super ornate, the hand here. The other side has some of that red. Look at all the details on this. And then the uh, the hilt is beautiful. Look at that little piece of gold right there. The trigger, everything about this is super phenomenal. Then you got the bigger one and you got some clear plastic right here. I don't know how easy it is to tell, but I just think that's awesome. Um, and then a lot of great detail throughout. The hand again, the hilt, beautiful. Look at all of this. Very nice. There's the actual barrel of the gun up here. Red again there. A lot of ornateness to this. Super, super gorgeous, guys. Feature on this, you get an open hand here that you can replace that hand with. I'm not 100% sure what the significance is of it, but please let me know down below um if you know because that is awesome i really love the detail in this it looks really really good guys and why don't we take one of these holding hands here to show this off a little bit a little bit better oh it's tight tight going in the hand here i'm a little scared of breaking anything at this point old plastic a little bit tough to go in i gotta say might have to heat some stuff up uh, there we go okay that was easy stress-free <laughs> uh i guess you want to push this up here put his finger oh i came off let's just move that right there we go and we could pop that back in that looks awesome that looks so awesome oh my god I love it. Speaking of the hands, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but this hand here can move upwards. And I'm sure that's part of the henshin. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but that can move, uh, it can move all around actually. Uh, and that's really cool. Next up, we get this dude and all the other equipment after this um, will have this motif. Uh, so let's show this guy first. I don't know what this guy's name is, this little bird. Um, but he has a nice flame bird here, a phoenix maybe, I don't know. But looks really nice, that red translucent plastic, the silver over that. Really nice sculpt, and the little legs move. <laughs> How about that? I guess it's as 
little pet maybe i don't know or maybe it's something for the transformation um honestly you guys can let me know all of this uh and i would really appreciate it that'd be awesome um i was in it for the toy and uh, um i would like to know more because this stuff is so super cool so first up to transform into his more flame mode we got um this awesome headpiece as you can see again very much like what i just showed you with that little bird um really nice red silver beautiful It looks really, really good. So to do that, you're gonna have to take off this, the little antenna piece. Right, go from down here or not. Or, okay, that's scary, but hey, it worked. <laughs> and then uh, we will, I guess, put this piece right in. Let me see. Okay, there is a little notch there, and uh, you want to plug it into the hole where you just took out this stuff. Don't lose this stuff. And that's how it looks there, and that looks pretty cool. I like it because it forms like a little mouth there in a way. That's awesome. Next up, we're going to give him some bird shoes, and uh, these look really cool. Nice red translucent plastic as well. There is a hole there on the bottom of his feet. I think just pop on his bird shoes. And that's how that looks a little goofy, but that's cool. And lastly, he gets wings, which look phenomenal. Look at these. Again, red translucent plastic, beautiful ornate silver, and then you got printed wizard stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is very, very nice looking. Um, and you're gonna have to take off these little awesome pieces here. Don't lose them. I'm, I'm saying that to myself, because I will. So that comes out, it's got a long piece, so that's pretty good. Okay, oh, and I lost it. I don't know if I lost it. It's here on my desk somewhere. L lost it in the bowels of my desk. But those go in, they have a hinge on them. Got a Oh, the other one went in nice, and now this one is faltering. There we go. So, pretty securely in once they're in there, and they're hinged, and that is the full flame-style look, I guess. Um, and that is abs- Aw. Aw. It is absolutely gorgeous, but... If everything wants to stay on. Yeah, this connection here on the headpiece isn't the greatest, but... It'll work. You know, this is awesome. This is super awesome. Um, de definitely, even though he looks awesome without, this is definitely the way I'd probably display this because how awesome does this look? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I said awesome a lot. But yeah, I think it's like a phoenix, I would assume. <laughs> if this would just stay on. But um, it does look gorgeous. I, I really think so. I think this looks awesome from every angle. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal figure. For your size comparisons, here's just a quick gathering of the first few Kamen Rider figures I was able to find with the giant SIC figure. As you can see, you got like Figuarts and the more basic line and the RKF line of figures. So there you go. And my final thoughts, this is a fantastic figure on a fantastic day. So very happy to have reviewed it. Very happy to get it out of my backlog, get it reviewed, and do it on Kamen Rider's 50th birthday, anniversary, whatever. Doesn't matter. It got me to do this review. I love that I have such a big backlog sometimes. I No, I don't really, but sometimes it's it comes in handy that I like a lot of stuff. And I have stuff in reserve because days like this come and I'm able to pay proper tribute and celebrate Kamen Rider. Something that I've been on the fringe fandom of. You know, like, the fandom is huge. It's awesome. I know so many, like, fantastic folks that are huge Kamen Rider fans. And I'm glad I'm able to uh, pay tribute and celebrate along with them uh, with this review. So, And it's a beautiful figure, and I'm really, really happy about that. 
So I hope you enjoyed this one. Go watch some Kamen Rider. I know I probably will now that yeah, I know it's Kamen Rider's 50th uh, because we just started watching Kamen Rider X-Aid uh, because my son loves Kamen Rider, uh, loves video games, and he loves... Uh, I've had a lot of uh, X-Aid figures, and um, he's loved playing with those. So I know what I'm doing after this. Hope you dug this review. Till next time, peace out, peace.